All right, today we have got Rabbit Hole Boxer Grail uh, Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey, and this is bottled at 95 proof. Um, this is a total sleeper hit. Um, a lot of the Rabbit Hole stuff is way better than what the age says. This is this is maybe is the best one for what it is. The age statement's on the back. It's very small. It's three years old. It's a Kentucky straight rye, and it's a 95.5, meaning it's a 95% rye, 5% barley mash bill. So it's the same exact mash bill as the very famous MGP rye, but it's obviously not MGP because it's made in Kentucky. Um, so Rabbit Hole does this. I think um, uh, I, I think New Riff in Newport, Kentucky does uh, does a 95.5 rye as well, but um, it's proven it's a fantastic mash bill, but it's not Indiana, yet it's a 95.5. So already off the bat, I'm very interested in a whiskey like this. Um, so on the nose, highly perfumed. Um, I get like a eucalyptus aroma. Um, there's a little bit of that, kind of that cedar, um, kind of temple aroma. And I even get like a hint of like a cherry cough drop almost, but in a really good way. Oh man, it smells great. All right, let's take a sip. Mm. Very rich. Toasted almonds, toasted coconut. Um, there's a creamy licorice note here. There's that pine note that comes back. There's that really nice barrel spice, more on the tip of the tongue than the mid palate. Um, this is a very good um, straight rye whiskey. And because of the balance of the spice and that, that sort of eucalyptus pine note, it's sort of sharp but creamy. This would be a fantastic rye whiskey to go um, like with a cigar, for example, because it's really gonna play off the spice uh, that you would get in a cigar. But just, again, by itself or maybe in a Manhattan, but I wouldn't even suggest a cocktail. I wouldn't even suggest, um, I wouldn't even suggest like a big ice cube with this. It tastes so good neat uh, that, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's fantastic. So uh, I'm actually like kind of shocked. I, I remember tasting this when it came out um, and, you know, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think much of it then, but it is surprisingly delicious. Um, I'm getting now kind of a, sit, a little touch of like a citrus note on the finish. Mm. Yeah, this to me is a definition of a sleeper hit whiskey. Um, it's out there, it sells okay. Um, nobody's really talking about it. Um, that's when you wanna pick it up. I'm gonna try one more sip. Mm. Soft, sweet, spice, woodsy, creamy, licorice, more spice. It's just nice, nice layers of flavor. Um, you know, one of the nice parts about these new kind of super premium bourbon distilleries is that the wood programs they're using from the get-go are much, much finer wood programs than what some of the larger legacy distilleries are using. Now, now you, they're using good wood, but but they, they're paying a premium, they're charging a premium. And in this particular case, uh, I think it's paying off because what I get here is just such an elegant, um, tight, layered, complex expression of oak along with this distillate. So um, if you haven't tried this rabbit hole boxer grail, I would suggest it because um, it's a great neat sipping whiskey and at 95 proof, it's perfect. Just enough proof to kind of carry the spice, but not so much that it's gonna bowl over your palate um, 
good one. Cheers.